Hello and welcome to Smith Family Gaming. I'm Zane, your host, and today we're going to be talking about some of the stuff I haven't been doing lately, which is making videos. I haven't been making videos for about three months. I've been recording stuff, but I haven't been actually putting, taking the time to actually edit it and put it online. I've been kind of busy uh, taking some time off, doing some stuff with my family, uh, you know, Christmas and whatnot, and then, you know, I had a new job come New Year, and trying to sort that thing out and get that all, still working on trying to get that all figured out, but uh, things are looking up, things were a little rough there for a couple of months, um, things don't work out the way you plan most of the time, and I'm sure that you guys are the same way, and with the price of everything skyrocketing right now, it's the way it kind of is, so um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you some stuff that I've already painted. Uh, from a, a line I'd actually originally planned on getting these models to uh, use as display in a local game store and or sell um, but I ended up liking the model so much that I uh, didn't want to give them up <laughs> so I decided to buy more and then more and then more and then a whole nother paint line and yeah my wife's not real happy about it but yeah meh, whatever Anyway, we'll, we'll show you some of the ones I've already got painted, and I'll show you what I'm working on right now. So join me at the table, and let's take a look. After that I went to and I did my troll buds because they were my next favorite and uh, I believe this one is uh, Ragnar maybe I can't remember his name but uh, I did him next and I did him kind of similar to the box art I went with a little bit lighter of a skin tone than most uh, troll bloods that you'll see on their box art but my thought was that he is since most of my army is uh, Northkin, um, my thought process was that they're up in the high north in the cold and snow. So uh, it was a little bit, you know, their skin was a little bit paler than, uh, you know, their cousins that lived in, you know, the more 
southern part of the uh, country and everything else. So I really liked him. This is the second time I did a tartan pattern, and uh, I think it turned out very good compared to my first one, which we will not talk about because it looked horrible. Uh, too many colors. So uh, with tartan, it's almost better to go with uh, uh, fewer colors. I think it turns out better. So that's that was him. So he was uh, technically the third one I painted. And from there, I went to Scorn, which Scorn is my least favorite. So I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, now, all but the Shepherd has came in the battle box uh, so far, the ones that I painted. So I, I, I started out with that. I started to get, you know, try to paint the ones that came from the battle box first, you know, the, the Warlocks or whatever they're called. And from there, I went to, you know, Scorn. I don't remember this one's name. Um, um, I think it turned out all right. Um, there was a lot of teeny little spots with little gold. and I, It wasn't as detailed as I would have liked to have been able to pick out a lot of the armor. is really hard to pick out on uh, really small areas. Um, I think it turned out all right, though. I'm not too disappointed with it. I've definitely done better, but it looks all right. And from at, you know, on the table, you know, it looks pretty good. Anyway, you're asking yourself, well, what, what do you got up your sleeve now, Zane? What are you going to paint next? Okay, well, I started painting already. And what I started painting was probably one of, if, I'm not sure. You know, I fell in love with the, the Legion of Everblight. And, you know, I really like the troll blood look. But, you know, I'm starting to think that the Grimkin may be my favorite faction. Because just of the look of the models, when I was first getting getting into it, it was about October time, you know. So they're, they, they've got this almost, uh, you know, Halloween-esque uh, theme to them. I really like kind of the, the glowy purple that they got going on with them and everything else. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards they might be my favorite. So, you know, going on the same kind of theme where I painted most of these all in the same kind of, um, you know, one from each faction and everything else and being warlocks except for the this gal here who is just, I don't, I think she's just a single. I don't know what she is actually. Anyway, the reason why I didn't keep continuing on one, I was like, well, I got all these other colors I want to keep painting different stuff and so that's what i did so my last one is the grimkin and um i believe this one is called the heretic and uh so far i've got quite a bit of it done now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish up this gold that i missed here um and then i might go ahead and add my highlights to everything first on my gold add up all my gold highlights and then start working on this white because after after that those two things are done I'll have a very easy point left to do with just the fur uh, but I'm really so far very pleased at the way this is turning out let's see if I can't screw it up <laughs> before the end of it's done I normally do a, a decent job but metals kind of trick me up to some extent I have a hard time trying to highlight them up a little bit but I think I've been getting better at it so, you know, we'll go with that and we'll see how well that turns out. So what I did here next is I went ahead and I started to highlight the gold. And how I highlighted the gold was I took Rulet Gold and I added that to my Blighted Gold. And I did a kind of a one-to-one -one ratio at first, diluted it with quite a bit of water. That's how I normally do it, pretty thin coats, you know. And uh, went over and highlighted the areas that I wanted highlighted. And from there, I stepped it up and I went just to rule it gold and highlighted it with that. After that, I mixed up some solid gold and I mixed that with the rule it gold one to one ratio about there too. And then each time I stepped it up from that, I kept stepping up the color and going from my next highlight keep mixing it in with the last highlight until I got to the highlight that I wanted it to be. Eventually I went to the platinum, radiant platinum, I believe is what it's called. 
And that was my very last highlight of it. And what I did there for that was I just kind of did the very tips of things, the very, just very small amount and did it some edge highlighting just so it'd be real bright here and there in the areas that I wanted it to be brightest. After that, we went along and I started making some uh, highlight, well, I base coated, sorry. I base coated uh, what I'm going to call is the toga because I don't know what else to call it. It's kind of a dress. It's kind of not a dress. It's, it's got a cape or was it a cape? You know, it's, it's just, it's a toga. All right. It's a toga. And, and how I did the toga was I started out with uh, the uh, Minoth white base. And like I said earlier in the video, it was very, very yellow. And I was, I was concerned that I, after I base coated, I was like, oh, no, this is too much. And I tried to wet blend uh, a little bit of uh, that and a little bit of Minoth white highlight together to really give the, uh, you know, uh, depth and shadows <clears throat> and a nice smooth finish. And I don't didn't record any of that because I'm awful at wet blending and you guys don't want to see it and uh, I don't want to show it. <laughs> so uh, you'll see here in a little bit that I took a little bit of that Minoth White highlight and mixed it with the Minoth White base and highlighted on that. At first it looks screaming different color. And uh, but it dries and it's not so bad. And you'll see that I do, you know, it'll look like I just, you know, it changes the colors immediately. No, it was it was several highlights before I got it to where I actually thought that it was uh, fairly good. Um, it took quite a little while. I mean, just that's part of uh, doing this is just taking your time, having fun while you're doing it, trying a little bit here, you know. And if it works great, then you, hey, keep going with what you got, what's, what's working for you. And that's kind of what I did. And I, after I did my Minoth white highlight mixture with the Minoth white base, I did the same thing that I did with my gold. And I went straight with Minoth white highlight. And then I went it up a step further and I went a step with a little bit of white in it. White, you know, the Mara white and just the Minoth highlight. And I mixed those two together and, you know, started doing my highlights with that. And then eventually I went all the way to doing it with just the Minoth, or I mean Mara White. I had the very edges where I wanted it to be the brightest. The top of the toga there and some of the top of the ripples in the cape itself, or ruffles or whatever the hell you want to call them. But I, I think it turned out pretty well. You'll see, uh, you know, some pictures of it and everything else that I did, and I, I tend to like it pretty well. Uh, I didn't get caught on video of me painting the little bit of fur that's on attached to his gloves. What I did there is I added uh, beast hide. I used beast hide as kind of my base of that. And then I went from there. I think I added a little bit of umber to it. Um, what the hell is it called? Umbral umber. Mm, nice. I added a little bit to that. So it was just a tad bit darker and then I added Hammerfall khaki for a highlight and then eventually highlighted it up with a troll blood highlight with a little bit of Mara white at the very tips of it and then that was basically it for the paint job and I, I'm pretty happy with the paint job I went ahead and I pinned him down into the base that I had and I made the base kind of uh, fall themish considering that they're kind of uh the wicked harvest so you might as well be having their uh base done and kind of harvest fall theme and i added some leaves some little bit of fall grass and some different kind of stuff i added a little bit of uh dried seagrass for the little tuft there, and I think that really uh, added to it. Um, I just want to remind you guys that if you like what I do here at Smith Family Gaming and enjoy my videos that I make and 
the videos that Roland and I make and Canis and I make and all the stuff we make here, make sure that you like and subscribe and share with all your friends. That way, you know, they know that that this is a nice, good channel and that'll let us to grow more and I'll know that you guys actually enjoy watching this and I'm not just wasting my time. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to afford to get some more new stuff to either show you with uh, unboxings or having just, you know, me paint some stuff up with new paint or new products. Uh, so thanks again for watching. I always appreciate you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them down there. If you got any tips or anything else like that, just uh, leave some comments and let me know. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.